What's up, everyone? George Belecci here with Travis Thomas back in the Nesson Studios. We've got three weeks left in the NFL season. Huh? The jackets are on. Huh? It's time for the holidays. Yes. Let's get some early gifts going, Trav. All right. We're going to talk about futures. Who's going to make the playoffs? What bets you would place now? In the AFC, the Bills, and the Chiefs have clinched. Other than that, it's wide open. Now, if you look at the underdogs, Chargers, Dolphins, Patriots, there's some plus money if it's making it. Minus money for them to make it. We got the favorites, but who do you like out of the AFC to run the table, be an underdog, and hey, who would you bet on end of the day? Okay, I think the AFC is gonna come down to one slot left. I think that final wild card slot is open. I do believe the Chargers will get in, but I wanna say, I think maybe we're undervaluing the Bengals a little bit. Everyone, and you, you just did it. Everyone's talking about the Bills and the Chiefs, and I get it. Both of those quarterbacks, MVP caliber, we understand that. We think the winner of that game is probably going to go to the Super Bowl, but au contraire, just like last season, Joe Burrow's lurking. Joe Burrow's lurking, and Joe Burrow could still possibly get home field throughout in the AFC. So keep your eye on the Bengals in terms of value. No one's really talking about them in terms of Super Bowl again this season. But as far as the final wild card spot, which I believe is the one that's up for grabs. I'm gonna give you a long shot here, my friend. Yep. I'm going Cleveland Browns. Yes, I saw the face you made, and, and I'm still doing it. Shop around. <laughs> GB, 15 to one on DraftKings. 25 to one at other books. Shop around. The Browns are gonna win out, and I'm telling you right now, if, if they get in, that's a dangerous team. Nick Chubb toting the rock. Deshaun starting to get the rust off of him. We know he has weapons galore on the outside. We know that's a solid defense with Miles Garrett and them boys. Uh, Kevin Stefanski can coach. They won a playoff game. They have that experience. A real home field. Watch out for the Browns, GB. Hey, right now, that's bold because they have a 1% chance of making the playoffs as we speak. If they win out, just simply win out 5%, they need a lot of outside help as well. But you say Saints, Commanders, and then finish off the season against the Steelers. That's the easy sledding for yes. the schedule. Amari Cooper, they'll only get better. David Njoku. But here's the thing with the Browns. You need a lot of help. So yes. I'm saying the Titans, who have lost four in a row, the Ravens, without Lamar Jackson, we don't know when he's going to return. There's going to be the outside help that comes in, and other teams that may win out. Chargers went out, Dolphins went out, or sure. Patriots went out. They're in. There's some overlap there. So you need a lot bold. of help. That's what, Hey, 25 to 1, yeah. it's not going to be easy. Hey, got to be mentioned, Patriots plus 470 if you say they'll make the playoffs. But who do they have? Bengals, Dolphins. Bills and the Patriots, regardless of their opponent, when they play the Cardinals or the Raiders, yeah. they've shown us no sign that they can convincingly win as well. Amen. So that's one I'm fading the Pats for plus money on that. And I love that plus money. All right, let's go to the NFC. This one's interesting. Eagles, Cowboys, Vikings, 49ers, all clinch. Yeah. The Eagles and the Niners, those are the favorites. Underdogs, we got the Giants. They just need to win two games. Commanders is win out. Seahawks, yeah. they have a 30% chance of making the playoffs right now. They sit eighth in the standings. Who do you like? Give me some underdogs. So, I, yeah, I'm looking at the same list. I like the Seahawks a little bit more than I do the Lions, but how do you bet against the Lions right now? Mm -hmm. I do not believe the Commanders get in. Look, Ron Rivera said something this week after the loss to the Giants that concerned me where they asked about Taylor Heineke. Hey, you're going to stick with Heineke? Right now, Ron, just say yes. He's our guy. We believe in him. What does Honest Ron do? They call him Riverboat Ron. They should call him Honest Ron <laughs> because this is an example of when he should have lied. But no, he goes, well, we're going to stick with him for now. And if he's not effective, then we'll go to Carson Wentz. Bruh! What are you doing? This is why Washington can't have nice things. So ultimately, even though I like the Seahawks, I like their defense, I like that they run the ball. Pete Carroll's been there, done that, has a t-shirt. Geno Smith's not the best quarterback we've ever seen, but he's not Geno Smith from the Jets. Hey man. I, I kind of believe in the Seahawks, but I just can't bet against the Lions. Geno man. Smith leads the NFL in completion percentage, top seven in yards per completion, and also a 26 to eight touchdown to interception ratio. Shane Waldron, that's a real deal. I'm expecting that guy to get a job elsewhere. That's you betting on an elite offense. The defense is shaky, they're banged up, but the Seahawks at that, if you bet on them to win the playoffs, to make it to the playoffs, yeah. plus 175 right now. That's a good one. Yeah, it is, but you know what? This but week they play an arrowhead. 
at the Chiefs, against the Jets. Oh. They finish off the season against the Rams. That's a win. But those first two games, elite offense and a good defense, elite defense, and we'll see what they get with the Jets offense as well. You're looking dapper, man. Hey, my man. Huh? It's time for the holidays. I appreciate you letting me know. I'm going to take some of those winnings yeah. that I'm going to get from your tips. Yeah. And I'm going to bet ahead on myself, get some nicer presents for my family. Ooh. I just hope they hit or else I'm going to give you a phone call. Hey, Trav. I get plenty of those calls, believe me. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. Trav, thanks for helping me out as always, bro. My man.